Challenged. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him looking, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's a big power throw. Pete Alonso, he's already homered here in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Alonso checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. And a pitch. And that one missing low. Runner at second here, one gone. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. Next offering is downstairs. Pitch misses inside, and it's 2-1. and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Robert, the lead runner at second. Alonso over at first with one away. And he walked him. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Labor Torres Labor. up to the plate. Cool. Your attention, please. Now pushing for the contract. Number 55. Alex Lang. Now this is in the air down the line. And Glaber Torres retired. Both runners tagging. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. And it's 6-5. At the play, Charlie Culberson. Charlie. Look out! And it hit him. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch. And that right there was just a freebie. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No movement on the base. It's ball one. Next pitch is inside. And now 2 0. Oh. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 -oh count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 3 0 down. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. They obviously were in a pretty great spot to take the lead right there with the bases loaded, and I'll say that was a good, patient at bat to draw the walk, and you know what? Still counts as an RBI. That hits the dirt, 1-0. Oh. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. Next offering is in for a strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. One run is in. Now a long throw home. Save! Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. 
Now, Tim Anderson. First offering, and it just misses. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner at third. Puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. Base is full, two gone. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. First offering, misses the mark. The 1 0. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Harper on the move to the gap. Squeezes it, and that is that. Last chance for the home team. Here's the second baseman, number nine. Leading up for the Padres. The second baseman, D. Trey Jordan. Hendricks back to work. Bunting for a hit. Throw to first is in time. Got him trying to bunt for a hit. Now the now number two hitter, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. The white fielder. Here's Number Harper three. now. Five. Harper. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Bryce Harper goes deep, and we're starting over. It's 8-8. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, In there for strike one. A one down. And yeah, there's a the ball. And yeah, the righty deals. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Tied at four. And that chance handled. On to first. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. With Merrifield up to the plate. Designated hitter with Merrifield. And a foul ball. The 0 1. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. That one missed. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and the inning is over. Welcome back. Here's the power hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And the pitch. 
Yeah, foul ball. Power relievers, one after another, coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Next offering is foul back. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one away. Pete Alonso, the next to hit. This guy with light tower power. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. In the air, right side. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. Christian Yelich now at the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Check swing, but he went too far. And one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Out number three. Back here at Petco Park. We're in extras here. Leading off, Leading Starling off Marte. The, Marte. the left fielder. Starling. Martin. And he deals. Fun attempt. Popped up. Racing makes the catch. One away. Stepping in for San Diego, Nathaniel Lowe. Now bad. And there's First no baseman. doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First offering misses badly for ball one. Righty delivers. Hard on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, now get the ground ball. Pitcher. Excellent piece of work. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Righty to the plate. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Oh, wow. That was so close to ending this one. Man, just bent in the foul territory at the last second. I'm telling you, it can be tough to refocus and, and get back into the rest of this at bat. But he's got to find a way to do it right here. Two outs. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. The throw, inning over. Back here in San Diego, here comes Glaber Torres. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. And another ball. And the right hander deals. Just missed. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Got him! And that's the first out. Charlie Culberson will hit next. 
Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Next offering is down low. Ball one. And a good eye there. One out. The go ahead run is at second. And now it's even up. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And now Carlos Sanchez. Fought off foul. Next offering is foul back. Slapped foul. The 0 2. Check swing, no appeal. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. And that's ripped for a base hit. Runner around third, and it's off the wall. The run comes in to score from second, and it's 9-8. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being... down in the count up against it with two strikes right there solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock Jack Paul. now here is Will Myers first pitch doesn't find the zone next offering misses and that's ball two Here comes a pitch. Ripped on a line. Can't get their base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. So two on with two away. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tim Anderson. On the ground, out to short. To first, that ends the inning, and they limit the damage. And welcome back. And the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Leading up for the Padres. Not shortstop. Jake Cronenworth. Back here at extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Enoli Paredes. 
a runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. The pitch. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he beats it out. It's a bunt single to start the inning. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside and not. Because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Nobody out. Both the tying and winning runs on base. Next pitch inside. Now one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Bunt it back towards the pitcher. Toss to Alonzo. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. And the batter now, Harrison Bader. Well, if he gets the save here, he's going to have earned it. Just getting through this hitter is going to be a challenge enough. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. The winning run on second base. High fly ball out to center field. Anderson makes the play. Two down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. Right, but he stayed focused right. and made a nice catch right there. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. Base hit. One run is in. In comes the winning run, and the Padres walk it off in the 11th. 